subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. From how a perfectly flowing fluid sounds to where Martian life may have thrived, on this edition of Scientifics, we bring you the top science stories of the week from across the globe. This week, scientists have captured the sound of a perfect fluid that flows with the smallest amount of friction. Before I go into why capturing this sound is important, let us take half a minute to listen to what the scientists from MIT have captured. Now perfectly flowing liquid is rare on earth, but in deep space it is thought to occur in the cores of neutron stars and in the plasma of the early universe. Knowing what the perfect fluid sounds like thus will help scientists listen for the signatures of neutron stars and even objects from the early universe. The researchers were able to capture this sound by creating a perfect fluid in lab conditions. The team sends sound waves through a carefully controlled gas of elementary particles known as fermions. Analyzing thousands of sound waves traveling through this gas, the team measured how quickly sound dissipates in the gas which gives clues about the material's viscosity or internal friction. These sounds can now be used as a model of other more complicated perfect flows to estimate the viscosity of the plasma in the early universe, a value that would otherwise have been hard to calculate. Using a supercomputer, scientists have simulated a video of how the moon formed as a result of a collision between the early Earth and another massive object 4.5 billion years ago. Many researchers believe that a Mars-sized planet called Thea crashed into the Earth. The debris from this collision is thought to have led to the formation of the moon. Scientists led by Durham University in the UK ran supercomputer simulations on Dirac High Performance Computing Facility to send a virtual Thea crashing into the early Earth. They then ran simulations to track material from the early Earth and Thea for four days after the collision and then ran other simulations after spinning Thea like a pool ball. The simulated collision with the early Earth produced different results depending upon the size and direction of Thea's initial spin. Their simulations produced an orbiting body that could potentially evolve into a moon-like object. While this research is not a definitive proof of the moon's origin, it could be promising in understanding how our nearest neighbour formed. Meanwhile, another supercomputer, the DeepMind's Artificial Intelligence System, has solved a 50-year-old grand challenge that is referred to as the protein folding problem. The system known as AlphaFold could be a breakthrough to accelerate biological research over the long term, possibly paving the way for understanding diseases and discovering new drugs. Proteins are essential to life and their shapes are closely linked with their functions. The ability to predict protein structures accurately enables a better understanding of what they do and how they work. There are currently over 200 million proteins in the main database and only a fraction of their 3D structures have been mapped out. The latest AlphaFold system achieves unparalleled levels of accuracy in predicting protein structures. The system is able to determine highly accurate structures in a matter of days developing new treatments for diseases, finding enzymes that break down industrial waste are all problems that are fundamentally tied to proteins and the role they play. Currently, determining protein shapes and functions is a major field in scientific research. It uses experimental techniques that can take years of work for each structure. 
Also this week, the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder or ASCAP developed and operated by Australia's National Science Agency CSIRO mapped approximately 3 million galaxies in just 300 hours. The rapid ASCAP continuum survey is like the Google map of the universe. Most of the millions of star-like points on this map are distant galaxies, about a million of which have never been seen before. The telescope's key feature is its wide field of view generated by new CSIRO design receiver that enable ASCAP to take panoramic pictures of the sky in amazing detail. Using ASCAP, the survey team observed 83% of the entire sky. This result proves that an all-sky survey can be done in weeks rather than years, opening new opportunities for discovery. In other news from space, a new study suggests that if life ever existed on the planet Mars, it would have been up to several miles below its surface. The surface of Mars has several geological indicators such as ancient riverbeds and chemical indicators such as water-related minerals that suggest that the red planet had abundant liquid water about 4.1 billion to 3.7 billion years ago. But at the time, the sun was much fainter, so the climate of early Mars should have been freezing. The scientists examined various Mars data sets. They concluded that liquid water may have been stable at the time only at great depths. Therefore, life, if it ever originated on Mars, may have followed liquid water to greater depths. Experiments will now have to be conducted in subsurface samples from the red planet to confirm this theory. This is Mohan Abbasu for The Print. If you like our videos, please consider paying just a little to subscribe to The Print. You can do so through the link given in the description box below.